Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I wanted to talk about three very important tips to improve your insulin sensitivity. Now, a couple of things on this. Um, if you are like, what's insulin sensitivity? What does that mean? It means that this gets your body to upload uh, glucose better, to have a better response to the food that you're eating, to get the energy from the food that you should be getting. Oftentimes when you have hormone issues, um, when your stress levels are out of control, that type of a thing, it, you might be thinking, gosh, I'm eating really healthy, but I still don't feel good. I'm eating really clean, but I don't feel like I'm getting the energy from my food that I used to get. What am I doing wrong, right? What else do I need to be eating? It's not about that. It's about your, how your body's processing that food. And that has to do with your insulin levels and it has to do with how your body's blood sugars get uploaded into your cells and actually used. Yeah, so I have videos on um, insulin uh, sensitivity and uh, insulin resistance on my YouTube channel, which is Dr. Beth Westy, so you can check that out and subscribe um, to, you know, to find out more about insulin sensitivity things. Um, but a lot of times when we're looking at improving insulin sensitivity, one of the number one things that people say to improve insulin sensitivity is like, oh, lose weight. If you lose weight, you will improve insulin sensitivity. Okay, but women with hormone issues that have cortisol problems or PCOS or things like that that make you more insulin resistant, it also makes you weight loss resistant. What even? What even? How is that? It's like, oh, lose weight, just chop off your arm. There you go. You're going to be lighter. This is not helpful. This is not helpful just to say lose weight to help with your insulin sensitivity. Uh, okay. Yeah. Duh. Because if you weren't insulin resistant, you'd be able to lose weight in the first place. Give me a break here, people. Come on, right? So here are some actual tips that are going to help your insulin sensitivity. Things that you can take action on. Things that you can actually take action on. Um, the first thing is eat more protein. Protein is the number one nutrient I find that women are not getting enough of. You're not getting enough protein to help your body regulate uh, stress levels. You're not getting enough protein to build muscle tissue. You're not getting enough protein to combat um, the stress levels that you have and to build more hormone, right? You need more protein. You've done how many crash diets before? And so your system is going to be, you know, really struggling to be able to maintain things. You know, that's, that's the hard thing. Crash diets make you more insulin resistant. It makes it harder for your body to lose weight, all of that stuff. And a way to reverse that is to eat more protein right? That is huge. Um, another big thing is getting in, a lot of people say working out, oh, work out, lift weight. Sure. Yes. But even getting movement in, getting blood flow in, it doesn't have to be this intense workout. It doesn't have to be this like certain caliber thing. You don't have to burn this many calories or sweat for this many minutes for it to count as a workout. Getting some type of movement in and increasing your blood flow is the biggest thing. And that's going to help increase and improve your insulin sensitivity. The last piece here is lowering stress, which is a very broad thing to say. I know that. Lower stress. Oh, okay. Like, what does that mean specifically? It could mean that you are taking some time to journal or meditate or to bring your system down, right? Do more deep breathing. Um, using a red light, using red light therapy, improving your sleep is going to improve your stress levels overall. And if you're like, how do I know what my stress levels are at? How do I know if this is a factor in what I'm struggling with? We have a test for that. Dutch tests uh, test your hormones as well as testing your adrenals and your cortisol levels. This is a huge, huge, huge key thing and understanding where your system is at. And from these results, it's really easy to tell if you are more likely to have insulin uh, resistance issues. And if focusing on your insulin sensitivity is going to be a big thing that helps you get a better result moving forward. So if you do not have a Dutch test, if you have not checked this out, I'm going to put a link right here in the comments for you so that you can get your own Dutch test, that did not, I don't know what's happening here. Um, so that you can get your own Dutch test. There we go. There we go. Let me just make sure that's in there correctly. Okay, because this is a great, great, great way to make sure that your system is able to, um, you know, that your system is able to, have the right cortisol levels. That's one of the biggest mistakes that people make, honestly, is that they don't have the right cortisol levels and they don't understand what they're at or where they're at and they don't understand what steps to take to improve them. So 
go in the comments, get your Dutch test, get it sent to you, and then we can go over your results um, and go from there. So um, that's what I got for you guys today. Other resources I have for you are my uh, podcast, The Female Health Solution, and then my books, The Female Fat Solution and The Female Menopause Solution. These are on Amazon. Fantastic resources that also tell you how to eat for your hormones and your cycle and everything else. So let me know if you guys have any other questions. Otherwise, I will see you later.